Hi, Salam Almighty. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. I like to give the honors to the Pots and Elders, Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches his word in all true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to get into how the so called white man, you know, knows that judgment is on his heel. That he has to now lean more upon the sword, you know, pushing forth more draconian laws because the deception that he used to deceive the world and to maintain his kingdom is over with, man. See, the thing that was going to overthrow this man was the light, truth, you know, and we seeing now the results of that, the very end of this man, you know, so this is an article from RT News, and it reads, social media misinformation killing people. <laughs> Biden says as White House doubled down on private censorship. So as you can see, the key word is what? Misinformation. Because that was the thing, like I said, to help maintain his kingdom. It was lies, man. And keeping the people in the dark. See, it was a point in time when this nigga was able to run suckers around the people for centuries. But now, he did it. He put himself in the corner, man. Matter of fact, let's start our song real quick. We got two precepts. This is the book of Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60, verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. See? Because there was going to be a point in time this truth was going to set up on the earth. Light was going to come upon the planet earth. True information. You know, it says, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, and that's this truth, man. And it tells you how the earth is going to be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So this word, truth, you know, just the spirit is truth, is seeping through every nook and cranny. You know, just you not... Even you not believing in the scriptures, now you know that the so-called white man's the devil. Because truth is on display now. Light has settled upon the planet Earth. Things are now becoming clear. You know? And it's, it, and it's being contributed by the prophets. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, see? And gross darkness the people, see? So darkness have covered the earth. The so-called white man, his misinformation, his disinformation, have covered the planet Earth. All the way down to, you know, you got more bikes celebrating Christmas. To a nigga standing in line to get the jab. These people are covered in darkness, man. Under the watch of the so-called white man. It says, but. See, the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And that's dealing with his truth. This is how we break the bonds of Babylon. This is the beginning stages of that. You know, not buying on his rhetoric, believing what this man puts forth in his media. You know, we don't subscribe to those things. The Lord, Yahweh, by smell, shall have plucked us up from that darkness, man. You know? <clears throat> so, matter of fact, um, let's, let's go back to the article, matter of fact. It says, um, it says, U.S. Uh, President Joe Biden claims social media platforms are killing people with misinformation about the crown. See? And you gotta ask yourself, why is they pushing that, that thing hard like that, man? Why are you trying to sell it to me so so hard? You know? It, it, you see, motherfucker, it, it would get to the point, if it was that bad as they put, put it as to be, 
it will sell itself, man. Instead of you threatening them. You know what I mean? You threaten these people very livelihood to take that take that thing, man. You know, certain parts you can't certain you know, parts of the world, you can't get a job. You can't enter to these certain establishments and grocery stores and anything of that case. Just cause they won't take the chance. But it was so bad, it would they would be convinced to take it. They'll be compelled to take it. But why is not that the case? Because light has set up on the planet Earth. Now you see that that's a snake in the corner. So why would you get near it? You know what I mean? Well, that's how it is. The so-called white man now has been found out to be the devil. That's, matter of fact, let's go back to that. This is the other precept. This is that, um, the book of Wisdom, Psalm 1. And verse 7. It says, For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world. See? And that which contain of all things have knowledge of the voice. Therefore, he that speak of unrighteous things cannot be his. See? So once this truth settled upon the planet Earth, now it's being found out that so-called white man is the devil. And we know why now. Because you have people that always said, you know, that he was the devil. You know, one, one way, form, or fashion in certain cases. But they never did know why. You know? And they never was able to, you know, figure out his next move. Well, the scriptures outline the rise and fall of the so-called white man and the strategies he will use. And one of those strategies will be deception. That will help man, that will help keep this nigga head above water. And now you see in the process process of that him losing <clears throat> that that wisdom that he once had. Is is heading towards his demise now. You know. You see this nigga selling the crown so hard. Like I said, it, if it was that serious, it would sell itself. But why you now you got a threats are involved now for you to take it. For you if you don't take it. You know? But it says Therefore, he that speak of unrighteous things cannot be here. See, so the so-called white man cannot be here. Now, he's been revealed to, to be the devil that the Bible speaks of, to be the wicked. You know, that's the guy. It says, neither shall vengeance when it punisheth pass by hell. See, because in the time to come, when judgment come upon the planet, it was, it's going to be for this nigga and for everyone that is joined unto him. And this is how you show your allegiance to this man. You know, folks just having America flag flying out your window. Are you going to roll your sleeves up and take that jab? That's how you really worship the image of the beast. That's how you really show your allegiance to this devil. But in doing that, you have just made yourself an enemy of your Bashman. Shout out the powers of heavens and earth. Take the Lord of hosts, man. You know? But when vengeance comes, which we in that time, the time of wrath, it's going to be for the so-called white man and everyone that is joined unto him. It says, For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly. See, the intense, prolonged interrogations. See, now you're questioning everything this man do. You know? See, there was a point in time he will say, Here, drink this, and you'll drink it. Here, eat this, and you'll eat it. But now's a point in time. You're looking at this man, his track record. And you consider everything he do. Matter of fact, let's get something real quick. Please ask us. Sirach 12. And I start at verse 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy. For like his iron rustle, so is his wickedness. See, so you should never trust the so-called white man. He is our enemy. When you think about slavery, who was on the opposite side of those chains? The so-called white man. Who was on the other side of those hangings? those castrations it was this devil man so in no wise you should trust this nigga talking about concerning things dealing with health the same nigga that came up with funyuns the same nigga that made pork a delicacy they have passed laws and legislations protecting the LGBTQ movement but they coming in the name of health they want to help you and keep you healthy 
you damn so should never trust this nigga at this point. That's why I said as Iron Russell saw his weakness because now the devil in this modern age is way worse than the 1850s devil. Worse than the 1950s devil. The 2020 devil, 2021 devil is way worse because Iron, it gets worse over time. <clears throat> nigga, man. Iron gets worse over time. So that's what happened with so called. He have gotten worse over time. There was a point in time he was blatantly letting you know that he was your enemy. But now you don't know. Because you see a coach and a whole bunch of uh, Edomite looking coach and some takes holding a trophy together and you think everything fine and dandy. No, man. That all plays on your psyche. This still, he's still the devil. It says, um,. <clears throat> It said, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, see? So you have to consider every move this, you got to watch this nigga, every move he make. Everything this man do. Because there's always a sinister plan behind it. Everything the so-called white man do is, is nothing beneficial that comes from it, man. And now it's been, like I said, since light has set upon the planet Earth, you know why he's the devil now. You just thought that he just he's just the devil. It's cause he he ain't got no melanin. No, that's just an indicator of who the devil is, but now we know why. The Lord created this man to be the devil. You know? And 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 and, and, and he and Esau is not uh uh under what what's the word? Uh is not um uh, he, he he has very well met the expectations of being a devil. He have exceeded the expectation of being a devil. Because we don't know the half of what this nigga do. Man. That's why he's going to receive the double. But the scripture said, take good heed and beware. So you got to watch this man, everything he do. And now he want to come and help you? You got to watch this man. It said, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the licking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. See? So I mean, well, he's the same devil, man. He's the same devil. Matter of fact, let's get something real quick. This is the book of um, the book of Proverbs thirty. Proverbs thirty, verse twelve. It says, "There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes," and that's why he is the self-proclaimed white man. He he called himself pure. He calling that. That's on the application. You fill out your application. They say race. That's you got white there. Because he proclaiming himself to be pure. It says, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. See? You calling yourself white, but you still that same nigga, that, that murderer, that thief. You know? But now things are now coming out. He is... That same guy. So let's let's go back to Wisdom Solomon 9, 1. Wisdom Solomon 1 verse 9. It says, For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly, and the sounds of his words shall come unto the Lord for the manifestations of his wicked deeds. See, and that's we cry out to Yahweh Shemel Shah for all the abominations that this man have done, man. You know? See, the corporate has now been pointed out. The so-called white man. He has been found out. You know, just like a motherfucker fart. The first thing you say, who fought it? Somebody did it. Wickedness is on the planet Earth at, at its very height. Destruction and, and death. It had to come from somewhere. Well, we have found out it came from the so-called white man. Lies and deception. All these things have came from this man. But now, since truth has set upon the planet Earth, this was the ingredient to overthrow him. This truth. You know, motherfucker had certain strategies and, you know, ways, certain ideas to, you know, come up to overthrow the so-called white man. This has been for centuries. People have been trying to find a formula to overthrow this man. But it was going to be something subtle as words, you know, which is this truth contained in all the scriptures conveyed in this proper way 
was going to overthrow this man. Oh, that's why it tells you in um, the book of, I think that's Wisdom Solomon, the 12th chapter. Tell you the Lord, he can overthrow you with one rough word. You seeing that on display right now, man. You know, so this is Second Ezra 6, verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. How has that been done? By the way of the word, the rivers of living water. And that's why you got this war on information now. That's why you hear misinformation, disinformation being um, brought more and more to the forefront as well. Because that was the thing that maintained his kingdom. It says, as for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, see, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And this is the beginning stages of the end of the so-called white man. Truth settled upon the planet Earth. Because he based everything off, or it tells you, the bloody city is full of lies and robbery. That's what this, that's, that's the, uh, that's the foundation of the so-called white man. Tells you the thief coming not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. Lie, you know, rob. That is the foundation. That's what this man based everything off. So something subtle as true. Just you saying no, you did it. Just that you telling the truth will frustrate a liar. Oh, it tells you that they frustrated the tokens of the liars. How you frustrate a liar by telling the truth, man? You know, so truth has set up on the planet Earth, and it just shows this is the indicator that the so called white man is out, man. You know, so yeah, I can. I just hope that edifying. I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, by Shami Yahweh by Shemra Kai Kodash. I like to give double honors to the Pots and Elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect that teach the word on true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abba Abba. Soon. Very soon.